Morning guys, it is Saturday morning and we are just chilling in our Airbnb. I wanted to do a little Airbnb tour to show you guys where we're staying and so you can get like a feel for what area we're in, what kind of place that we're in. This place was I think about $1,700 for the entire month. So we thought we got a pretty decent deal because it can be quite expensive to stay here. So let's do a little tour of the Airbnb. So this unit is attached to someone's house, but we've got some nice like double doors here. You can see there are houses to the right. It's like a really nice house, beautiful garden. And it's nice to have these double doors because it does get quite humid in here. So we've got like our shoes and this table that we're just using is like throwing our stuff there. These are all of our like shoes and clothing. I organized most of this this morning. The queen size bed, it's quite comfortable actually. We've had really good sleeps on it. The TV is like mounted up on the wall here. And we've brought our PlayStation. So we've had that all hooked up and we've got a fan kind of necessary just because of how hot and humid it is in here. But this is kind of an interesting space. Like the wall is slanted. And then going into the kitchen area, we have a washer dryer combo, which has been amazing. We don't use a dryer. We are from Canada, but we try to hang up like the majority of our clothing. Some things go in the dryer, like towels and stuff. Um, but so far we've just been like hanging it on this rack and then we've got a toaster, all of the dishes and everything are here. Another really cool thing about this Airbnb is there's a back door off the kitchen and there's like this beautiful lime tree right here. And just like a little chill area to sit and relax. It's not like the nicest space, but it's a good option. Kitchen area. Decent sized sink, no dishwasher, but that's fine. Uh, we've got like the garbage can in there, a bunch of utensils, which the knives are kind of shitty. So we're gonna replace those, I think, just because we're here for so long. Up top, we just have some storage, like glassware, a few of our things. And then on the other side, again, we're storing some suitcases. We have like a little cooktop, which is, I've never used one before, but it's been working fine have a microwave as well the fridge is like super super small but we're able to fit like a couple days worth of food in here and we have cooked here twice so far and it's gone pretty well and then we just have like all of our snacks tucked in underneath there and then the bathroom so yeah there's like stairs to go up into the bathroom We've got like a very small little sink a mirror just here, it's pretty small. This is the only mirror in the whole place. So I would like to get a full size mirror at some point, but we were using this as storage. And then we've got the toilet and the shower. So the shower is like, there's only this one piece of glass. So when you're having a shower, like the floor gets like super wet, but because it's so humid here, I don't know. I think people are just used to that. The shower's been very good, like the water pressure is great and everything. And it's all like very new and modern and whatnot. It's just a little bit tight. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like one arm length wide for me or just like even a little bit shorter than that. And then width wise, I think it's probably like two arms long, but it works for us and we're really enjoying the space so far. It's not, as nice, I guess, as I was expecting, but that's what happens. So here's looking from, so like the kitchen, the dryer, everything, looking out into the room. It's really just a hotel room with like a small kitchen and stuff. But yeah, I love this patio because when it is hot out, we can just open this up and it's quite beautiful.